Uh, so I do have a question about giving sake uh, to uh, someone that I know. Uh, he sells alcohol. He has a shop that he sells alcohol uh, because um, he, he doesn't have money. He's poverty stricken. Um, I have talked to so many people to talk to him and give him money, it's not my family member or anything like that, to advise him not to sell alcohol anymore, but he's in Africa. Uh, but because, you know, there's so much you can do to, to someone that needs money. So can I still give him Saka or can I make it contingent upon him stop selling alcohol and give him a lot of money? Okay, first of all, selling alcohol or consuming it or buying it or carrying it or making it or whatever, all those involved are cursed by Allah Azza wa Jal. Secondly, if he has a shop that sells alcohol, this means that he's supposed to be self-sufficient. If he's not self-sufficient, this means that when I give him zakat money, most likely he will invest it by buying bottles of whiskey so that he can make profit out of it. And by this, I would be also sinning. So if he's a Muslim, but a bad, evil, sinful Muslim, and I know that he's in need, he's poor, he's below poverty line, and he needs financial assistance, yet he's doing sins. And most likely he would utilize my money, my zakat, to enlarge his sins and expand upon it. What to do? Don't give him financial assistance in the form of cash. Rather, tell him, I have zakat money. I will give it to you in the form that benefits you without giving it to you cash because you said haram. What do you want me to do? Pay your rent, pay your electricity bill, or buy you food for and provision for your family? Whatever he chooses, you do that with the zakat money, and it's a done deal, inshallah.